Day four, no mask, trial one. Start. Stay healthy, people. Stay healthy, people. Stay healthy, people. So the experiment is a visualization of droplet emission, and we compared um, no mask versus masked speakers. We had speakers say, stay healthy, people, without the mask, and we used that as a baseline. And we then put different masks on and visualized the effects of that mask that should reduce droplet emission when you speak. So this is what's under the hood. Not much. So the setup is very simple. It's one laser, one cylindrical lens, which turns the laser beam from a beam into a sheet of light. One mirror getting the light into the box. A box which you can construct out of cardboard and a camera, which in this case we can use a cell phone camera. It's very straightforward. It doesn't take much resources. Any research lab has these things lying around. The laser, we use a very expensive laser because that's what we had, but you can buy a laser that does the same trick for about $100 online. So we have the, the speaker hole right here. We have the light sheet going in from the left side, going out the right side, and the camera on the far end looking at the light sheet. And when you speak and you emit droplets, and as soon as they go through the light sheet, they scatter light. So you see a little flash of light that gets recorded by the video camera. So when we speak, we see this evolution of, of flashes in the video frames, in which we then go in and analyze how many flashes do we see, basically how many particles do we see. This is the no mask case. This was a cotton case. This one is a surgical mask. So you can see it actually this does really well. This one here is fleece, neck fleece. And what's noticeable here is that the number of particles is actually bigger than the no mask case. We attribute this to the fleece, the textile, breaking up those big particles into many little particles. They tend to hang around longer in the air. They can get carried away easier in the air. So this might actually be kind of productive to wear such a mask. So it's, it's not the case that any mask is better than nothing. There are some masks that actually hurt rather than do good. Because this was a demonstration experiment, we only did a few number of speakers, but it, it gives you a good idea of how the mask actually performs in general. So we certainly encourage everyone to wear a mask but you want to make sure that when you wear a mask and you go through the trouble of making a mask, you make one or wear one that actually helps, not just you, but helps everyone. The appeal of this measurement technique is because it's conceptually very simple and it's easy to get started and it's easy to operate. Ultimately, for real research questions, you want to construct it reliably, good construction, but for demonstration experiments, a cardboard box will suffice. Yeah, there's, there's lots of duct tape on this gizmo. <laughs>